My name is Michael Domian, and I'm here to introduce you to the Turtis Pavlov Project. The Turtis Pavlov pr Project is an exploration of the connections between the arts and the sciences. In most universities, the arts and the sciences are located in different departments, different colleges, different uh, parts of the campus, and the academic curricula involved are drastically different. Science students only take a few arts courses, and art students don't take very many science courses. But there are important things to learn about trying to see how the sciences and the arts are connected, and that's what we hope to do in this project. The project is named after Lionel Turtis and Ivan Pavlov, two of my heroes. Lionel Turtis was a, a virtuoso viola player during the 20, early part of the 20th century, and he played in concert halls around Europe around the time that Pavlov became famous for doing his experiments on the salivary conditioning of dogs. I don't think Pavlov and Turtis ever heard of one another or ever met one another. Turtis lived in England and primarily spent his life in music. Pavlov lived in St. Petersburg and spent his time in the lab. <laughs> Pavlov didn't travel very much until the end of his career when uh, everybody wanted to have him come and give lectures. He actually even came to the United States at one point. But he mostly spent most of his time in the laboratory. He was an incredible laboratory nerd. Uh, on the face of it, one might think that there's not much of a connection or relevance between the t these two gentlemen. I've become familiar with both of them through my somewhat unusual personal history. I spent most of my professional life as an experimental psychologist, as it turns out, studying Pavlovian conditioning. And I have great admiration for the science that Pavlov created. Uh, he, he's one of my science heroes, if you will. But uh, before I went into psychology, I attended the Juilliard School of Music for six years uh, in their uh, pre-college division. And initially uh, studied the violin with Louise Barron and then switched to the viola uh, because I came into the possession of this particular instrument, which it turns out is a viola that was designed by Lionel Turtis. So in uh, the Turtis Pavlov project, uh, we're going to explore uh, connections between the arts and the sciences with music representing the arts and experimental psychology and specifically the psychology of learning uh, representing the sciences. This is not going to be a series of discussions about the psychology of music. There is a growing field within uh, psychology called the psychology of music uh, that uh, is generating lots of uh, very interesting research but much of it is focused on the perception of music. I approach music from a broader perspective. Uh, I'm interested not just in the musical experience of the listener, but I'm very much interested in the experience of the performer, and I'm interested in issues related to how does one become a successful performer. And I saw some of that when I was at Juilliard, and I certainly uh, tried to be, uh, become a successful performer, and I was on, pretty much on track until I got sucked into psychology. Uh, but I didn't understand the principles that, of learning 
that might be involved and how those principles might better inform our understanding of what musical performance is all about. So uh, I'm going to share my own personal reflections about music and psychology. Uh, I hope covering a variety of topics that will be of uh, broader interest. I'm indebted to uh, the Butler School of Music at the University of Texas at Austin for uh, making possible this uh, series of recordings. The uh, School of Undergraduate Studies that is providing the funds for this set of videos and uh, my uh, friends and colleagues <laughs> who are, are willing to tolerate my adventures in this uh, uh, cross-disciplinary endeavor. Thank you. So I began uh, this video segment with a uh, short uh, selection from uh, uh, Mozart. I'm going to end with a selection from uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, another of my favorite composers. Thank you. 